Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Monday Mayhem wrap up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and I might have almost tr- forgot to turn my camera on, Mad Mike. We're in Pittsburgh at Sorgatron Media Studios, and Mad Mike is joining us, the last Mayhemmer. No, the last <laughs> return of the last Mayhemmer. <laughs> He's feverishly <laughs> putting together Captain Marvel Legos because I, 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 we, we started late, and that's my fault. But uh, the last. Jeez, I can't get your title right. Hey, what podcast am I doing right now? I just did two other ones, and I'm very confused. Welcome to Answer Coins to Begin. Uh, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody remembers that one. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So uh. this is the show where we pretend that we are not going to talk about Endgame. Yeah, hey, you know what happened in indie wrestling for me this weekend? Endgame. Uh <laughs> I mean, uh, that sounds about right. That does sound about right. I don't know what's going on with my white balance. If you're joining me on the uh, on the video version of this, sorry about that. I'm looking a little green. Uh, but anyways, most of you, well, you guys are out there. Wow, you guys, we're like we're like a half hour late, and you guys are still showing up on the Facebook Live. This is amazing. Uh, I mean, to be fair, Tina probably just finished dinner. <laughs> That's Let's true. Um, but yeah, all the West Coasters are out there. What's up, guys? Uh, the word of the day is sorgiopath. Nope. That is, oh, okay. I see. I see. What you're <laughs> you look like you're doing like three things at the same time. One of them's Legos. The other thing's a podcast. The other thing's just just considering I, end end game. I can't find this piece. I'm just gonna stop. It's your, just just force something else in there. Anyways, hey, what's it my good <laughs> for for wrestling this week? Um, we went to the show a show uh, uh, Friday out in uh, Springdale. Caught up with some old friends. Learn some friends, know some friends. Like uh, uh, uh it, it's it's just a weird intertangled thing. Potter joined us for KSWA. It was a benefit for the Springdale High School band, I believe. Um, and we saw a lot of friends: Brohemoth, David Lawless, um, uh, a uh, few other ones. Yenzo wasn't there. I was looking. I was looking forward to seeing Yenzo. He was on the poster. Um, Beastman was there. Um, True Love might have been there as well. I, <laughs> Mad Mike, have you ever had a hookup at a wrestling show? Not you personally, but have you ever like like had people like connect at a wrestling show? Um Hmm. I mean, me and my girlfriend. No, I'm kidding. Oh, there's that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we we had a we had a sweet and take over Philly. What do you Aww. want? No. No, um no, I don't believe I have. That's uh, that's just weird. It's a fantastic thing to watch. Also scary. Um sometimes. So I would um, imagine. <laughs> Sounds but, Sounds like it could be terrifying. Had a great time. I, well, I had an, I had a weekend off, no wrestling, no other video shoots uh, to speak of, other than just putting my head down, gets ed- editing done here in the office. Uh, with uh, just piles of work we got going on here these days. Uh, before I, I start jet setting again to Michigan, <laughs> so um, and uh, but but a lot of great stuff going on. Um, uh, but tonight we're talking about Monday Night Raw. Uh, Mad Mike, uh, was there anything non-Raw that you saw on the interwebs or anywhere else wrestling-wise that that kind of was your good of the week? Uh, sorry, my good of the week. Well, actually, you know, um, professional wrestler Dave Batista was in a little movie this week and called what? it Endgame. <laughs> Just a small bit part. In yeah, a little it's, independent you know... film called Avengers Endgame. He's he's the one point two percent of the one point two billion that was made. Yes, yes, that royalty check will be nice. Oh, I'm sure it will. <laughs> I have absolutely no doubts Hello, about that. Oh, residuals. How do you? How are they going to put a three hour movie on a Sunday afternoon on USA Network? That's going to take like eight hours with commercials. So, um, ask mothers all over the world. They do it with Titanic all the time. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I it st- takes up five hours of program. You hear that's the clicking? You hear the clicking? He's still Legoing over there. I'm still Legoing. Mult- multitasker extraordinaire. Anyways, well, um, how was Raw Endgame tonight? Um, Raw. Oh boy, Raw certainly was a show. Tonight. Well, here's okay. Let's start with this. No, I didn't miss. I, I had Raw on in the background. I, I had a client podcast I had to edit for the last uh, hour and a half. Actually, two of them. 
um, since we had some West Coast connections and everything. Like now you guys out a multitasker. There. Hey, yeah. Um, so, so Raw was, I noticed, was a lot of talking for the last hour. I, I, it was I, a lot of talking for most of the show. Hours. Yeah. I, I, I Sorry, there were three talk show segments before 10 o'clock. There was. There was. Um, that is tell impressive me. and terrifying. Just to get me up to speed here, what happened in the last hour of Raw? Not like what happened, but I mean like what happened. Dominic uh, put Rey Mysterio on his shoulders. What? That's really all you need to know. Did, wait, did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I yeah. need some context here. I need to look up WWE.com. Is there no, a clip of this? No, you don't. You don't need context Are at you all. messing um, with me? No, I'm not. This is this is not um this is not two truths and a lie. This is just uh Rey Mysterio beats him Ojo with a roll up and Ray celebrated and Dominic lifted his dad onto his shoulders. <laughs> I well all right, hold on, hold on. To be fair, not his dad. His dad is a girl. Oh, oh that's right. His his mysterious dad. Um He's a Phoebe. Gotcha. <laughs> we uh we did get we uh, I I saw there was um a contract signing which completely co- ended peacefully tonight. Oh yeah, absolutely, totally ended peacefully. <laughs> um, AJ talked for a really long time. Like I I still think it was only five minutes, but it just seemed like a really long time because he said nothing. Uh, Sammy, Sammy, um, uh, wrong Sammy. Um, uh, Sammy Zayn. Thank you. Damn, I yeah. uh, a lot of coffee, a lot of work. Um, it seems we like don't deserve him. I I I, I kept looking over at, at the monitor, and I was just like, he's still going. What is he doing? I I don't know. Uh, like honestly, he's not wrestling. Yeah, he's just so coming out. And... He's just coming out and berating the crowd. I'm like, okay, that's. I mean, cool. This has to lead to on somebody... a show where we've had a lot of talking. Yeah, we didn't need another talking. Segment. No, no, and a, and a crowd that was like kind of on top of things too. At least in the first part of the show, like they were pretty. They were pretty, the, the crowd was pretty on fire for a lot of, for some stuff. Yeah, I mean, but there's only so much you can do with with so many talking, 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 talking segments. Yeah, like it was basically Raw was two thirds of a podcast. If I'm gonna be perfectly honest. <laughs> yeah, Raw was like a wrestling mayhem show mixed with an indie show. A little bit. Like I'm not gonna lie, it was a little well. Unsettling. It was a little twisted. Pee Wee, her uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse too. We did get in our fire, mm-hmm. fire oh, that was fun great. house. Um, I'm really enjoying this. And, and Mike, I don't know if you've read the articles this past week about this. Uh, apparently those were shot here in the Pittsburgh area at, uh, Davidson, I believe it was Davidson school, which is, uh, the, the Tom Savini, uh, makeup schools out of that. Um, yeah. I remember, uh, didn't we talk about it on the show last week? I don't think we talked about that part. Cause I thought that article came out afterwards. Okay. I thought we talked about it on the show. Because uh, there was there was the, the the Davidson thing. No, no, we talked about it like a- actually technically it was after the show on Mayhem Gold that you guys can go check out at patreon.com oh, slash wrestling financial. By the way, great. if you guys are Patreon supporters, I do want to I, I I know I, I put one on the one. I don't think I put one out to you guys. I want to p- apologize for you guys. I know some stuff was going weird with the Patreon over the last couple months, but they're updated now. Um, I haven't done the backflow. I want to see if those are going to be worthwhile to put some golds out for you from the past like two or three months that we did not do. Um, but we're doing some very specific ones now uh, for you guys on Patreon, Gold uh, uh, on the Pocky Club and up, uh, and uh, especially stuff with our interviews and everything. So I'm hoping you got and, – and actually an extra podcast I talked about last week with Rob uh, from RWA. So I'm um, hoping you guys enjoy that, and you're finally getting that, that content that we promised you. Uh, so that is all fixed, and it should be good, and uh, there's a new process going in on it. But anyways, um, but no, that's where we talked about that. We rarely talked about the Firefly Funhouse on – on the show last week. Um, but I like where this is going again. I I'm not considering where this is going to go wrestling wise, but oh, as I'm is, not even thinking about that. Cause as soon as I think about that, I'm just going to cry <laughs> just like the end of end game. Um, but <laughs> I mean, basically, yes, yes. Um, as everybody stands, watch the first bag, Sorg, that's the first bag. What is that? A shield, um, carrier uh, of some I'm, sort. I am making the, uh, hold on. I'm making this ship from Captain Marvel. Mm. Yes. Yes, and I, I have Goose the Cat. <laughs> nice. Who, ironically, uh, spoilers, did not make an appearance in Endgame. No, he did not. 
Very unfortunate. Yes. I, I had I had Goose defeating Thanos. <laughs> I had it, and it just didn't happen. On your on your uh, on your end game bingo card that that was mm-hmm. in there. Um, yep. Also from well, so I, again I'm I'm digging these segments. There's a lot of kind of subtle things happening there, um, and it's kind of it's kind of fun. It's kind of weird, dark fun. Oh yeah, no, it's great. Mm-hmm. It's great. This was like it, this was like the creepy Bob Ross. Mm-hmm. And did you um, did you see what he painted, Sorg? I believe it was his house burning down with uh, uh, with Super- Randy Orton inside. Or was it with Randy Orton inside? <laughs> there was a face inside there. I'm assuming. I thought it was Abigail. Oh, I wanted to assume it was Randy Orton. Oh, was no, I'm pulling up. I got a. I got a. Uh, I got a. Uh, uh, You're right. You're probably right. It was probably Abigail. <laughs> or Ab- Abby the Witch. Excuse me. Abby the Witch. Abby the Witch. That's right. I got a tap out commercial before I can see anything. So of course, I don't know. Has these tap out commercials made you want to work out more? Uh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I, I I also see them quite a bit more frequently. <laughs> yeah, that is probably true. Uh, you you of course watch much more network than I do. Yeah, uh, of course. That's that's exactly the reason. <laughs> network, End Game, and Game of Thrones. That's all I'm watching. That's all I'm doing. So he talked to some of the characters in there. Um, again, it, it's he it's, talked to the rabbit. Talked to the rabbit. The was the rabbit um, new? Yes. We were introduced uh, to the rabbit. I don't remember the rabbit's name. I want to say it was like Frisky Bunny or something like that. I I don't remember what Waskly Rabbit maybe. Rambling Rambling Rabbit. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was Rambling Rabbit. I think it is Rambling Rabbit. Rambling Rabbit sounds about right. Which of course, uh is um you see bray was a big fan of the rambling movie minute so that's where he got that from what are these callbacks to like podcasts on this network that nobody's gonna remember sorg we gotta do something there was not a lot of content on raw tonight we did get and then no no the, i did say the the first half we had uh ricochet was featured heavily the Miz yes, was featured. Ricochet, uh playing the part of braun Strowman's little buddy mm-hmm is Ricochet. Mm-hmm. He's the understudy for Finn Balor. So oh. that that's all they're doing. Uh, he, he kind of is, isn't he? Um, we mm-hmm. had him. We had uh, The Miz was featured hev- heavily. Uh, Eric, uh, Ray Rowe. I can't oh, yeah. That. Miz is having a feud of Bobby Lashley and Shane McMahon. Mm-hmm. Joy! Joygasm! Miz is going to work. Miz, Miz is going to work his ass off to make this work. You know that, Why right? Why is Miz not in Money in the Bank? Hmm. Why is Miz not? He's in like Money in the he Bank? always has been in Money in the Bank. It feels like, but he always deserves it. Um, being uh, being <laughs> well, maybe they're just gonna, maybe they're doing him a favor by uh, not having him go through Randy the Rabbit. Uh, yeah, Randy the Rabbit. Maybe they're doing him a favor by not having him go through ladders for a, for a year. You know, I guess help out a little bit. It's just know. gonna be Baron Corbin winning the fucking thing. Uh, we'll see what the SmackDown uh, playing field looks like. Yeah. So. Um. Also, we got we got the women for the uh, un- at least on the Raw side for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Uninspired. Oh, so very much so. Uh, Sork, did we forget the Riot Squad existed? Oh no! Yeah, we did. did, did we how, are, how are none of them in there? Well, I mean, to be fair, there's only two of them on on Raw now. But, right. Well, maybe we'll um, get uh, and, the one and, that got separated. And I love me some Dana Brooke. I yes. Really like honestly, I want Dana to win. But you know who doesn't need to be in there? Fucking Natty. <laughs> and that's why she's in there. Fucking Natalia does not need to be anywhere near ladders. I um, when did Alexa, did Alexa forget she's not the host anymore of um things going on in wrestling? I don't know what she's. I don't know what Alexa's doing. She's out. She's out there. She has to tie her shoes every five seconds, like she's Miles Morales. Like, mm. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> wow, deep cuts. Uh, I'm going. Tina, I'm Tina, sorry, sorry, Tina, I'm full of deep cuts tonight. Tina is letting us know that uh, Sarah Logan is actually out with a broken ankle. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Oh, that sucks. But mm. uh, Ruby ain't. Yeah, Ruby's still around. I mean, and honestly, Ruby works better as a solo act anyway. Mm. Well, I would hope she would for this. So, um, no, that's unfortunate. Let's see. Um, 
Oh, we're not done shaking up, Sork. We're not done shaking up. This is we're an ongoing process. Shaking up, apparently. It's, it's the Superstar Shake Month. That's right, in which we have matches from uh, people coming over from SmackDown to Raw to fight other people coming over from SmackDown to Raw people to with the from, same with the same results. People coming over from almost quitting the company to losing, mm-hmm. I guess. I don't know. Um, you know, when 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 I saw the Good Brothers on Raw, I'm like. Why aren't they with AJ Styles? Exactly. And and here's here's another thing. If they ever book the revival versus the Good Brothers in a loser leaves town match, mm-hmm. do you think they'll all just walk out of the ring together and take the double count out? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um so I, I had hoped for you know a, so well tell me this you, you watched you watched the end segment I I only peripherally watched it um, while doing other things you did not miss much well well is AJ's AJ's move at the end was that a very heel AJ kind of move or or just generally how we go when things no, get heated no just 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 got there ruthless aggression ruthless aggression so so it doesn't seem like we're heading t- back towards Bullet Club AJ. Doesn't seem like it, no. Okay. All right. Yeah, I... Oh, boy. Although they could. They could be hanging out. Maybe at Money in the Bank, they come out and help them. Maybe. But Rollins is not losing that belt. No, I don't think so either. I don't think so either. All right. Anything else from Raw worthwhile? Uh, I feel feel weird not having Elias watch this week. Becky was on. Becky was on. What did Becky do? I didn't. I missed uh, the first. Becky two belts. You, you're never gonna guess, Sorg. She talked. She talked again. Yay! There's, there's a lot of talking happening on this RAW. Mm-hmm. Which, on one hand, you know, when I was a logger, would make it easy to log. But on the other hand, it's real boring to watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Becky two belts said, you know, she she called. Uh, she called Lacey Evans a plank again, which is funny. What do you, a plank? A plank. What do you mean by a plank? I I assume it's like some Irish slang. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Be- Becky was talking about Lacey, and I think Lacey came out. Oh yeah, Lacey came out, and they brawled a little bit. Yay! Whoop-de-do. She's being active. Uh, active is a relative term, but, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if there was anything else on Raw, but honestly, not not a lot's coming to mind. Mm-hmm. Not not a whole heck of a lot. Well, oh, the the tag champs are on against the revival. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was thinking women's tag champs for some yeah, reason. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> and I got really hurt. confused. Or, hey. Good. Hey, so if the Iconics we... were facing the revival, that would be that would have been the first thing I led with. You know that. In professional wrestling, why are we back uh back shave shaming? Oh, I forgot about that sh- You know Isn't doesn't everybody l- 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 like Literally everyone in that roster has a shaved back. Yeah. Literally everyone on that roster. Are the Usos silky smooth and don't need the help? Well, I mean they are Samoan. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means more hair or less. 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 Okay. Are you, sure. a- you ever seen a Harry Samoan? I. Uh... Oh. Apart from the top of their head? No, you haven't. Oh, that's a good point. No, no you haven't. No. No. No, you haven't. And, you know, I'd ra- I, if I were a tag team on Raw, I'd rather be seen shaving each other's backs than getting DUIs with each other. Maybe that's right. just me. That is true. Uh, they were talking about the Uso Penitentiary and Missy was uh, making some joke about how, um, well, if if one of them goes to jail, can they just like twin magic that shit? I'm just like, well, they have a, <laughs> I was like, well, actually they've had a lot of practice lately. So yeah, really I don't think bad. she realized how much they've had some legal troubles. So, which is yeah. unfortunate because I really like the Usos. And I like the Usos too, but 
I don't like the Usos when they speak. I don't mind it. I I, I, I didn't like tonight so much, but um, generally I love the energy they bring. But I think they're trying to like what is the next thing for them, right? Like New Day gets it, to... it's it's raw when they try to make someone funny. Yeah, yeah. It never works out. Um, but often, like, yeah. often with oh. these shows, the humor is is misplaced. Yes. Oh, and there there was a Sonic commercial featuring the Iconics. I saw a little bit of that, and I want to go back and watch more of it. I, the Iconics are just fucking lovely people. Hey, Mad Mike, was the best part of Raw tonight the Sonic commercial with the Iconics? Fuck yeah, it was. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it was. Uh, Sorg, you know me. Any part featuring the Iconics mm-hmm. is going to be the best part of a show. <laughs> this is did, true. Did you listen to the WWE.com exclusive interview with the Iconics after last week's SmackDown? No, I had not. Sorg, do you know why Peyton Royce lost to the Insane Elbow last week? Uh, why is that? All right, so last week on Raw, uh, Peyton lost to Naomi mm-hmm. because she was dehydrated. Yeah, Which, I remember. You know, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Sorg, I, I I got it right here. You gotta stay hydrated. Wasn't the she? Iconic taught me that. Wasn't she I, overhydrated this year? This week, she was overhydrated. I did hear that? And she had to pee. <laughs> No, no, Kyrie Sane, Kyrie Sane hit the elbow right on her bladder. Oh, no. Right on her bladder. And oh, Peyton no. was just like, I-, I had to go. Like, we're still champions. It's fine. And they went in the bathroom. They came out very quickly. Mm-hmm. And the, the cameraman, for some reason, stood by the door, which I'm pretty sure violates hey, a lot hey, of HR. It could have been a camera woman. Nope, it wasn't. You could hear him. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that's an HR something that has to happen. I don't know. If only, if only somebody but, could get on the handbook. But they walked back out, and they're like, that's one thing you need to know about us. We pee very quickly. And I'm like, it's good to know. Someday. It's good to know. Someday there's going to be like an Iconics Fact book. Probably a bathroom book. I will write it. You will write it? You Are you volunteering for this uh, duty I here? Vol- I volunteer as tribute. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We're making this official. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We're going on the Twitter. We're going to live tweet right now. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to tweet from the Mayhem mm-hmm. Show at Billy K. How do you mm-hmm. spell Billy K? B-I-L-L-I-E. I-E. Oh, that's where I messed up. Yep. Billy Oh, there she is. There she is. Yep. Billy K and at Peyton Royce. I know how to spell these things now. Okay. Um, so do I. So you are aware. Mad Mad Mike. That's me. Uh huh. Has volunteered yes. to write your um, iconics. Hashtag iconics. Hashtag two eyes. Iconics. Two eyes. Post. Wait, two eyes? Two eyes. I I. I I conics. I I conics. I conics. Uh, fact book. Yes. Uh, starting with, uh, what was the fact? Um, that they pee very quickly. Your bathroom habits. From after um, SmackDown. Okay, I was gonna say context. Probably, context probably, makes it less creepy. Well, Context does context count. There's just you know just your dude offering to write a book for the bathroom. You know what? Change that to um, rules for hydration. What your wait your uh, rules for hydrations from after SmackDown instead of bathroom habits? Yes, because that sounds way less creepy. For hydration from after SmackDown. This because they they said they needed to find the right balance. Okay, the right balance. Yes. Um. Um, because apparently Peyton drank an entire gallon of water. Tweet my, have your people tweet my people. Tweet. Yes. Okay. So we're done. Okay. Okay. Much better. All right. Anything else we should touch on? Um, end game. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do this here? Sorg, I watched it three times. This All week. right. Spoiler alert. End game. This has nothing to do with wrestling, but Mike needs to do this somewhere. Okay, 
He needs to get this off his chest. Please shut off the Facebook feed. Please, we are seeing spoiler alert. Hold on a second. Here's where we're going to go. Uh, in case we put this up uh, later, let me just change this up here. And um, Avengers Endgame spoiler talk. Spoilers. All right. Um, Mike, tell me your feelings. Jeez, I feel like we're going to be here another hour. Um, tell me your feelings on Avengers Endgame. Sorg, it was great. Mm-hmm. It was really good. It, it it hurts my brain a little bit more the more I think of it after the movie. Like, with plot holes and things of that nature. But in watching the movie, it was really great. I, I, I enjoyed it very much. I saw it, I saw it in, in 4D, which is the, the scene. Did you get kicked in the back a lot? No, not that bad. Not as bad as Wonder Woman? Not that bad. No, it, it rained. <laughs> it, it rained uh, during the Ronin scene. Mm. Um, there was an explosion. It was great. Lots of smoke. Um, uh, Sorg. Sorg, it, it was, Sorg, you saw it. What did you think of Endgame? I thought, I'm still processing it. I okay. um I need to watch it again because yes for me I I always have a thing in my head of what I think a movie is going to be you know mm-hmm. much like some of us watching wrestling um but, <laughs> but like you know in in my head in well I, I had the same problem with let's say watching the first the the Ghostbusters remake with the women like okay. I, in my head they're going to connect this like this is still in the same universe as the one that happened before. But I, I did not qualify this as a straight reboot, okay? You okay. know, just like, you know, if I'm watching the Star Trek reboot, you know, I'm, I'm connecting the, the dots, you know, to the Star Trek I know. Um, mm-hmm. Until they, they tell me how it connects to the Star Trek I know, and that was really cool. Uh, Star Trek spoilers, if you didn't get there. Um, but uh, so I, I, I'm watching the whole movie, and I'm just like, I'm like, so everything is so five years later and messed up, and this is like the you know grand finale five. The, here's where all the stuff went, but we're gonna bring it back. Like to me, like the time travel was gonna bring us back to that point right after the snap. Also, I read the or- original Infinity War book, and that's basically what they did, mm-hmm. right? Um, yeah. So I was both. So I I had this thought in my head that that colored everything I was seeing for most of the movie. You okay. know, as they're traveling in time and. Uh, tease back to the future then completely did back to the future too we talked about this in the slack um see i don't I, think they did back to the future too because it didn't change stuff um well I, 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 not that not that part of it no the whole the whole part i the whole back to the future part is the fact that they're skulking around in the background of the events that we've oh, already okay, okay. seen that part yeah. of it that's in and, and the things that have changed will be erased and and they go but back they and fix it but they don't skulk around so much because, like, there's literal fight scenes. There is. No, yeah. They're real bad at it. And thankfully... Hashtag they're... America's ass, by the way. Yes. Yes. Hashtag America's ass. And that was fun, you know? And that's very Marvel the way that they handled it. Um, mm-hmm. I, will, I will say that. Like, there were so many points while, while there were some things that didn't pan out the way that I expect because I read books that parts of these were based on. Um, I love how they did loop what is the Marvel universe. Like you can't get mad at what they did different in a Marvel universe because (laughs) damn it, this podcast, uh, (laughs) you can't get mad at what they did in the Marvel cinematic universe because it's not like your Marvel universe because there's like five other Marvel universes. This is what this is how their own right. This is how this is how this story is, and they wrapped it up. And it felt like that great grand finale. It felt like part next generation, all good things. It felt part um, <laughs> what we're seeing in Game of Thrones now. Uh, it seemed part. Oh, they did way better than Game of Thrones. <laughs> and way brighter. Also, yeah. <laughs> yeah, take a look at the article about setting your TV up to properly watch the Game of Thrones yeah, episode I, from this I week. Need to watch um, also, the emotional impact of watching Endgame in that Game of Thrones episode in one weekend is kind of wearing on me. Um, but. <laughs> I saw it three times 
and Game of Thrones in the same weekend. God, I wish I was trying to figure out if I could get out there like Sunday night. I was like, maybe I can do it Friday. Now I have like two meetings Friday night, and I literally do not have an evening off until May twentieth. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, that's where my schedule's at right now. So if you're wondering where those wrestling are, shows are from two weeks ago, it's about to get a lot worse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the wrestling will continue. My, my, there will always be wrestling released. It may just not be the most recent of wrestling, and I'm doing the best I can. Um, but it's anyways, very hard, people. It's trying very hard. John Fun already retweeted our, our Iconics tweet. Um, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't want to go too deep. I feel like we're going to do this also after tomorrow's show, and I won't get any sleep. Uh, maybe that'll be our goal as well. All but right. uh, We won't get too deep. Sorg, here, here's what I want us to do. Me and you right now, we each say our two MVPs of the movie. MVPs of the movie? MVPs of the movie. I'll give you the first one, the rat that brought back the Ant-Man. <laughs> because I realized if the rat doesn't do the thing... Nothing happens. Nothing happens, and Captain America is sad for the rest of his life. <laughs> okay? That's an excellent first choice. That is an, that is an excellent first Splinter choice. Splinter is the MVP of this movie. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, My first MVP, Mark Goddamn Ruffalo. <laughs> oh, jeez. Professor Hulk. Oh, my God. So good. Everything Ruffalo did in that movie was pure magic, mm -hmm. like pure magic from from like comforting fat Thor, which I'm sure we will get to from doing a dab and telling kids to listen to their moms. And did you notice he had the giant bowls of eggs in front of him mm -hmm. so he could use his Hulk hands to get it? Like just. God. He's what been living with this for at least three years. years. He's figured this out. Yeah, like 18 months in the Gamma Lab, and he's like, oh, brains? Ron, we have them both now, and it's great. And and spoiler alert, again, if, uh, if you haven't figured out we're doing spoilers by now, fuck you. We're it's on the screen. No, 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 you don't understand. It's huge yeah. on the screen right in front of you. Okay, good. Um. He's the one that undoes the snap. He's the one that does it. Yeah. Hulk Hulk brings everyone you back. You know what? I had forgotten about that until I reread another article today because because so much happened at that moment, you forget that's the thing that did it. So mm -hmm. there were two snaps. There were so there were three snaps total. Well, there there's four snaps technically. Four. Oh yeah, yeah, one, yeah. One we didn't see. That's right. You're right. One, you're right. One from one from Infinity War, and three in this movie that we didn't. And a fifth one that erases my Google results. Ha! Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Okay. So, so, all right. So, who's your second MVP? Uh, my second MVP is Hydra. Oh, hell, Hydra. Yes. By the way, I mean, there's so many nods for shit you know from the comics on top of just shit you know from watching all the all the uh, movies at this point. Yeah. Like because that is a nod to the Captain America joins Hydra that happened a couple years ago. Empire. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. that Good. was pretty amazing. Yeah, like uh, there's just so many things. There's so many things that are so good in this This movie. is what I said. The, I basically watched a five-minute practical joke followed by two movies. Um, the five-minute practical joke is, like, them fighting Thanos, killing a monster in the first five minutes when we're just like, wait, that was all the trailers. What the fuck is going to happen now? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it, which is so amazing. I even went back and looked at the trailer. I'm just like, none of this. Like, half of this trailer is just, just old stuff or stuff from the first movie or stuff they never even used anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um... So so there's that. Uh, and then it was and then it was, um, you know, Back to the Future 2, Avengers Back to the Future 2. And then it was, you know, uh, their version of the of the Great War, um, which is probably uh, this. And I put this in the slack, too. Did your theater and I think you said all three times this happened. Did your theater cheer at both Thor Thor Hammer with Captain America Mm -hmm. And and just Spider Man coming back in general. 
Yes, indeed. Yes. Okay. I I think I'm gonna have to put hands down that Thor Hammer Captain America is the greatest giant reveal in cinematic history. And you know the the best thing about that was it's not like he just threw it once. <laughs> if he, you know, like because Vision held the hammer. That shit point. was his. Yeah. Like Cap threw it once, got it back, and was twirling it like a motherfucking batonist. Like he summoned lightning to shock Thanos. Mm-hmm. Like Wow. And not only that, at the end of the movie, Cap is the one that's bringing the hammer back. Mm-hmm. Like, he just has it with him, like a, like a fucking carry-on. You go, like, you're flying down to Jacksonville or some shit. Like, <laughs> wait, 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 it, it, takes, it takes a minute. There's so much happening here. It takes a bit to process. Or three days later in a Slack channel to process this. But you're just like, did you just fucking take the hammer with him just because? And then you're just like, oh, no, he's returning it because Thor took it out of the timeline. So yeah. yeah, so we're, um, we're not gonna get into timelines. That. That'll be tomorrow night on our post wrestling. No, Let fuck it. Let's just talk to Avengers cast, Mike. It's not even the timeline. It's hmm? what's the return policy on the Stall Stone Sorg? <laughs> well, and what happens when he sees who's keeping an eye on it? Yeah, exactly. Also, what happens to the guy after the Soul Stone leaves? He just like, well. Here I am. Does he just fuck off? Like, Nothing to do. Like, I wonder what's on TV. Oh, I shall float here, head of captain. Like, <laughs> what do you do? Who knows? Mike, it's such a blast. Oh, we have, Dude, we have so much going on this week. I have my second MVP. Oh, we didn't do a second MVP. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me get back on. I can't bring it back up. Spoilers. No. Go ahead. My, Real quick. My second, my second MVP. Reversal of line readings. Reversals of line readings. What do you mean? Um, like when you have past Captain America say, "I can do this all day," and present Captain America is like, "Yeah, I know, I know." <laughs> <laughs> or, uh... or, and this, this is my, this is might be my favorite. So, in Captain America: The First Avenger, right? When um, Cap goes off to register for the war for the last time. And Bucky goes off to dance with Clara Oswald and some other chick. Because that is Clara Oswald from Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, she's a time traveler. It mm-hmm. happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's just like the doctor. Well, there, then, then there was a doctor that was in Dark Ages, too. Yeah, and in Jessica Jones. Yep. She's, she's just a little early. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. when uh, when Cap goes off, he says to Bucky... Uh, no, Bucky Bucky says to Cap, don't do anything stupid till I get back. He means back from the war. Cap says, how can I? You're taking all the stupid with you. Referring to, you know, Bucky's probably going to have a threesome. In this movie, Bucky, Cap says, don't do anything stupid till I get back. Because Cap is going back in the timeline to put the stones back. Bucky says, how can I? You're taking all the stupid with you, referring to the six infinity stones, <laughs> and a hammer, and a hammer, of course. <laughs> but um, it's it's just ah, this movie. It's a victory lap for Marvel. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. You know, it was going to be that regardless. Yes. But if you have watched many times all twenty-one movies and you know them implicitly, mm-hmm. it is a love letter, and it is it's gratification because you will pick up on so many teensy, eensy little callbacks. Like, and there's one I've completely forgot. Sorg, I was watching the first Iron Man last night because that happened to be on after Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. When Tony Stark is in the cave with Jensen when he's basically captive and can't go anywhere, he and Yinsen just play Mancala. When we open up on an Endgame, Tony Stark and Nebula are just playing Chinese football. Hmm. Like that—that's 
Like, when Tony's bored, he plays tabletop games. Hmm. That's just such a cool little, like, mm-hmm. and it's deliberate. Mm-hmm. It has to be deliberate. And oh yeah. When, and all right. And this is this is. Do we still have the spoiler thing up? No, I don't because I queued the outro. All right, fuck it. This is all right. When Tony's daughter at the funeral, when Happy asks her what she wants, she says she wants cheeseburgers. Sorg. What did Tony Stark say when he came back from captivity? Give me a cheeseburger. Yes. And I hope to God it wasn't Burger King. Okay, that's it. Wow. Right? Wow. On that note, sir, that's the end of this. Uh, Please, uh, of course, we will have Toddy from Thrifty Podcast with us uh, on the main show. Make sure he's seeing Endgame. Oh, God, I hope so. Uh, (laughs) Wrestling Man Show. Uh, who knows? I don't know. Toddy, Toddy, Toddy beats to his own drum, man. He, I don't even know, uh, what Toddy does on Avengers weekend. But anyways, so we got to watch ourselves tomorrow and maybe not everybody's watching. That's with us on the show. Also at 6 PM on the indie wrestling feed, uh, dot us. Um, we will have Katie daughters will be here. We're going to talk social media and pro wrestling at 6 PM Tuesday. Um, and we will have, Pittsburgh Current, I believe we're pre-recording that, so that should go up uh, um, Thursday morning. I I forget who our guest is, and I didn't get a graphic yet. So keep an eye out for that, too. Um, and uh, what else is happening this week? We have John Carmen over on Awesome Cast. We have a lot of great podcasts coming out, and some for other people um so a lot of good stuff and keep an eye on our indie wrestling network we did release last week iwc's night of the superstars eight including sting hacksaw jim duggan uh hurricane shane helms which finds out one of his you know uh, final matches actually it sounds like and uh and so much more mvp who was amazing with the mvp i'm sorry with the tme with the, the main event Jeez. And also Rise Wrestling uh, we have with a great uh, Challenge of Champions match as well. Uh, we will have RWA and Black Diamond coming up very soon on that network at IndieWrestling.network. Uh, Mad Mike 483 on the tweets. Sorgatron on the tweets. We'll see you guys tomorrow night for Wrestling Mayhem Show 9 p.m. Join us. See you later. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.